Uh, my dad is um, much older um, when he had us uh, kind of late in life, but um, he is um, he's disabled and um, mentally, physically, and um, he um, had a stroke a couple of years ago, and I'm his conservator now. Um, his lack of planning uh, didn't really um, help the situation uh, when he had his stroke. We weren't even um, aware for a couple of weeks. He kind of hid it, and um, when we when we did, he lives he lived several um, miles away from us and uh, a couple hours away. And when we did see him, it was um, a little traumatic. Um, because he was able to hide it on the phone, but then when we saw him, it was very apparent. Um, he um, was losing things and couldn't find stuff and stuff he would normally just have. And then um, went to the hospital, and luckily I had been in this kind of elder law world for so long that I already had connections, and I was able to get him, I, I knew what needed to happen, so I was able to help my family. Um, they had no idea what the next steps were. So <clears throat> I was able to help them kind of navigate where we were going and then um, get him to where he needed to be um, for some rehab. Um, as a conservator, um, we, we don't do many conservatorships, but when it is required or when it's necessary for one of our clients or with their family member, we, um, I can talk them through the process um, because there's more to it than the, the legal side. You've got to just make sure you're accountable and make sure everything is in order for your board. And um, I think it's comforting to our clients to know that they, there is somebody who, who knows what they're going through. It might not be the exact situation, but because um, every client is different. <laughs>